<laughs> Praise the Lord. Back to Knucklehead here, a.k.a. Brother Ebony Jr. Brothers and sisters, we turn our Bibles to Isaiah chapter 55. We'll be looking at verse 8 and 9. And it reads, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admonition, to the application the distribution of this great word. Take it from the greatest book that man can ever possess. I remember this God's word. We give God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior. John. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> praise the Lord. My sisters, we see a great man of God uh, by the name of Isaiah, who's a prophet of the Lord, who's a preacher of the gospel of grace. We're sharing with the people in Isaiah chapter 55, where he says, my thoughts, and this is God's thoughts, are not the thoughts of man. And God's ways, Jehovah God's, are not the ways of man. So he's making this clear distinction. You see, and, and, and he goes on, the reason why he's making this distinction, because man's thoughts, man's ways, it, 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 it's, it's earthbound. It, 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 it's it's uh, bound to, to, to carnality. It's, it's limited. It, 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 it's sinful. Man's thoughts, man's ways. Um, and and it's, 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 it's mortal. It's, it's subject to death. But God's ways, God's thoughts are eternal. God's thoughts, God's ways are, are infinite. God's thoughts, God's ways are immortal. God's thoughts, God's ways are not bound to time. It's boundless. And God's thoughts and God's ways are unlimited. It, 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 it's unlimited. There's no limit to the, to, to the things of God, especially his ways and his thoughts. And then we, we see the prophet uh, Isaiah goes on to say, for as heaven is higher than the earth. And what's interesting is heaven is higher than the earth and, and God made heaven and earth. So God is higher than heaven and earth. So what he says, as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways, this is Jehovah God, are higher than man's ways. Because man's ways is, is, is again, it's bound to earth. It's, it's mortal, subject to death. It, it, it's, it's sinful at, at its best, and, and it's limited at its best. But God, God's ways are so much more superior, so much more grander, so much more bigger than man's ways. And, and, and so when, when things, when, 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 uh, the prophet Isaiah is conveying with this statement in Isaiah chapter 55, verse 8 and 9, that, 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 that even though uh, God's ways is it is far superior and far greater than man's ways. When you come to the point where you come to the end of yourself and you can't do nothing, you can't think nothing, and, 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 and nothing's making sense, that's the point where you are to now put your trust on the foundations of God's ways, God's love for you, God's uh, goodness, God's grace, God's wisdom. Put your faith in that, in, in that alone, because God's ways are higher than our ways, and, and, and much more superior than our ways. And, 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 and when we put our faith and trust, again, in the goodness of Jehovah God, to His Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, when we put our trust in the, in the love that God has for us, through his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and the wisdom that's unlimited, that's limitless, because of his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We are in a place where, where, where now we are 
secured in God's thoughts, not our thoughts, and God's ways, our ways. And that way is the way of grace. Because as he says, my ways are higher than your ways. And the way of doing it for ourselves is still going to be higher. I mean, the way that we do it for ourselves, God's ways is going to be more superior. But when we put our trust in God's ways, then we're in a safe place. So uh, uh, place your trust in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Because the thoughts that God has for you is, is, is not of, of evil, but of peace and to give you an expected end. And that is the way of God. His ways are far superior than our ways. And so when we put our trust in that, we are in a good place. And remember, this is the year 2021. 2021 believer in Christ in spirit. Where the apostle Paul said in Galatians chapter 2, verse 20 and 21, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I. Christ lives in me. And the life that I live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loves me. Therefore, I do not frustrate the grace of God. I'm not trusting my ways. I'm not trusting my thoughts. I'm trusting God's thoughts to his Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That ain't frustrating the grace of God. I'm trusting God's ways to his Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus. That ain't frustrating the grace of God. Because if righteousness came by the law, if righteousness came by my way, my thought, then, 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 and, uh, and that's righteous by the law, then Christ died in vain. And we know that Christ didn't die in vain because when Christ died, that was because of, of, of God's ordained way. And that was because of God's thought so that we would be all that he called us to be through his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So trust in God's ways. Trust in God's thoughts because it gives you uh, 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 it's not, uh, 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 as it says in, in, in Jeremiah, Jeremiah the prophet, another prophet of the gospel of grace, where he said in Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, for the thoughts I have for you are, 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 are not evil, but, uh, but, uh, but to give you an expected end. And that expected end is to be in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord! May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his counsel you. May the Lord give you his peace. And I commend you all to God and the word of his grace, which is able to build you up an inheritance to those who are sanctified in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, say amen. And out to him that is able to keep you from falling, present you faultless in the presence of his glory, both glory, majesty, dominion, power, both now forevermore. Praise the name of his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> God bless. God pay love.